Number 24. The engine of a large ship does 2 times 10 to the 8 joules of work with an efficiency of 5%. Letter A. How much heat transfer occurs to the environment? All right. So they gave us a work value for an engine, right? They told us the efficiency, which is E, and they want now the heat transfer into the environment, which is essentially the heat of the cold reservoir, all right? So I got to figure out how these things are related to one another. So I know that energy and, uh, excuse me, efficiency and work are related via this formula over here on the right-hand side. It says that the efficiency of an engine will equal the work output divided then by the heat of the hot reservoir, aka this is just the amount of heat put into the engine, all right? Uh, I also know another relationship between some of these variables, and it says that the work is equal to then the uh, hot reservoir, aka this is the heat put into the engine, minus then the heat of the cold reservoir. This is basically the heat taken out of the engine or given to the environment, okay? And as we said, that was what we are asked for, all right? So we have to figure, we have to um, be able to solve for this somehow. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve this formula then for Q sub H, and solving this for Q sub H, we now get Q sub H will be equal to uh, the work plus then Q sub C. All right, and now what we realize is we can basically take this result here and plug it on into our formula over here. Sure. And what we realize happens is now we have a formula here that gives uh, that we know all the variables of and we uh, have our unknown. Okay, they told us the efficiency, they told us the work, and now we can find the unknown, which is Q sub C. All we have to do is some math now. So do that cross multiplication trick where we have the, uh, the work, then it's going to be plus the Q sub C will equal then the work over the efficiency, and then simply just, you know, basically uh, subtract the work from both sides. So Q sub C would then be equal to the work over the efficiency minus then the work. You know, you can reorganize that if you want from there, but I'm just going to calculate now. So the work they told us is 2 times 10 to the 8, then divided by now the efficiency, which is going to be 5%, make sure that's in decimal form, then minus the 2 times 10 to the 8. And what do we get? So 2 times 10 to the 8 divided by 0 0.05 minus then 2 times 10 to the 8. So we get about, great, so we get about 3.8, 3.8 times 10, I think that's to the 9, let me just double check. Three, six, nine, yes. Okay, and that is in terms of joules. So that is the heat loss to the environment. All right, that takes care of then letter A. And now letter B, it says how many barrels of fuel are consumed if each barrel produces six times 10 to the nine joules of heat transfer when burned? All right, so uh, essentially here, what we need to know is we have to know then how much heat energy the engine actually uh, or how much heat energy was put into the engine. And remember we said before that this right here represents the total amount of heat inputted into the engine. So the first thing I wanna do is actually solve for Q sub H. All right, so if I do that, Q sub H will then be equal to, just doing some math, it's equal to the work plus Q sub C. So just because I'm running out of space here, we're gonna take the work then, uh, which was given two times 10 to the eight, and add to that, we're gonna add the 3.8 times 10 to the nine. All right, so let's add those two. Great. And what do we get? So we get about four. So we get four times 10 to the nine. That's in terms of joules. That's the total amount of heat put into the engine. Well, where's the heat coming from? Well, the heat's coming from the fuel, right? That's being burned, all right? So if each barrel produces this amount of energy, okay? And if this is then the total amount of energy that the engine basically consumed more or less, we can simply just do a division, right? Simply find then how many barrels, so we can do a dimensional analysis. It depends on how you want to look at it, right? If I know that this is four times 10 to the nine joules, and then I want the joules to cancel, and I want barrels on the top, I know the relationship is that for every single barrel, they told me uh, that there are six times 10 to the nine joules. I have to just simply do the division, right? So divide that by six times 10 to the nine, and we get about two thirds, right? So the bar number of barrels would be about two thirds of a barrel or AKA 0.667, you know, barrels. All right, that does it guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take care.